annual color tier list. I've been noticing, funny enough, that people have actually been coming back to the old one. So they've added like three, maybe four new colors since Code of Lions, which is when I made the last one. So we will literally just go down the line. And uh, this time, the frame of reference, last time I think it was the frog, Wuxiang, Rana Wuxiang. We're going to be using Fenrir Mordex. Base is totally dependent on like what legend you're using and what skin. Fenrir, I actually think it looks pretty good, but it can kind of vary pretty hard because there are certain colors that just make a skin look so much better. So I personally think A tier is good because it's the only time you're going to have a truly like unique color scheme on the character. Blue, it's not great, but it's not awful. Honestly, when it comes to the base colors, I actually think blue is like kind of cool, but even then it's still just super basic nothing really to it yellow same thing i actually think for base colors it's strong so there's you know what there's a lot of good colors so what i'm gonna do is i'm ordering this tier list so i'm gonna put yellow above blue um i'm big on visual clarity and yellow definitely helps a little bit but at the same time it's not a color i'm ever going to pick green uh honestly it has a little bit more compared to both blue and yellow but i don't think that necessarily makes it better i'll rank it above blue for the time being uh but i still think yellow is a bit of a cooler color scheme i'm just not a fan of green bean looking legends so i'm never ever gonna touch it like yellow yeah i'm okay with it if someone selects it green why are we even on this brown honestly my opinion has not changed the red is super cool but it's also very minimal on practically every legend and uh, I just think it's very weak compared to everything else. There's just like, there's really nothing to say about brown. Like, I don't think I've ever locked it in. Purple, definitely up there. I actually think purple is um, above yellow. Again, though, it is one of those base colors. So it has like the hints of the blue, which I always think are really strong. But at the same time, um, not going to catch me personally on it. And... It has to stay in B because it is just, you know, in the end, bleh. Unironically, orange is a little bit underrated. I'm going to put it right next to above. I mean, you could honestly say these are a bit interchangeable. Uh, I'll probably, I'll leave purple above just because I find it to be a little nicer on the eyes. But orange, like in Fenrir, I actually think Fenrir looks good in just about every color. Um, or it really shows how I think the color like should use, right? Like there's certain times where accent colors look super funny. And Fenrir, like the times that there's like the accent shown, it's usually in like the gauntlets, it's shown in the mouth and the eyes, and that's plenty. Cyan again, we're just stacking the B-row. Um, I actually think with adding Cyan, that instantly is going to make me move down blue. Uh, just because it is straight up better, right? The orange actually looks pretty good. And I can see why some people might actually pick this color. Sunset, it's no secret that this color is actually pretty crazy. Um... I'm going to put it above base. I think it's like a very cool, like, it's not pink because there is just a straight up pink color, but the way it mixes in like the purple, this like uh, almost tan color with like the accents and stuff. And then it has like a lighter pink in some areas. And then like almost, uh, I mean, it's a sunset color. That's what it is. It looks good. And um, on certain characters like Fenrir, it just pops really well. I personally used to think gray was a, pretty sick color um honestly it's not that good i actually think cyan is probably a better color compared to it uh it's just it's very bland but it, you know again it does have a little life and multi colors with the orange eyes and stuff but even then um i think cyan is still a bit stronger with that being said i do like it more than the rest of the b-row I feel like with pink, you either love it or you hate it. I think it's okay. I mean, I just think it's like, I don't know. It really is like you either love it or you hate it. So I'm trying to be a little objective, even though this is completely subjective. So I'm going to leave it in B underneath Cyan. But I feel like both are kind of the same thing. Whereas if you actually really like Cyan and you're probably going to use it on a lot of your legends or you really like pink and you're going to use it on a lot of your legends i don't think you're going to be like i don't know just okay i'm going to use pink here i'm going to use Cyan here it's like you're either all in or all out red's my favorite color so i'm not even going to try and hide the bias uh i just think this is straight up s tier it's just so like compared to some of the other colors up until now like this is the last one you unlock 
um, for free. And then, you know, of course, at level 10, there's white. At level 25, there's black. But you get this at level 20, I think. And it just holds up super well. It's just so vibrant. Uh, and honestly, I don't have a problem with the fact that it doesn't really have any like multicolors and stuff. There's a little bit like of a darker red in some areas, but just red overall is so cool. For the longest time, I only used white simply for the um, visuals and making it super easy to see. Visual clarity, that's what I was looking for. With that being said, it devoids the character of really any life. Um, it's not a cool color at all but if you're like struggling to see i 100 percent recommend like trying this color because um it's so easy to keep track of your character and stuff but with that being said i've had it probably in like s tier or the high a tier in the past i'm gonna bump it down a little bit because it is just straight up bland at one point black was undeniably the best color in the game because there wasn't anything else much cooler when it came to combinations you had like cc's and that was really it cc's and sunset Nowadays, that's not the case. With that being said, though, I think black is just super sleek. It does make it a little hard to know when you have jumps left, but they've added other features. So if you're utilizing like the jump cloud stuff and exclamation points, um, you won't necessarily need to look out for like the character graying out. So I think black and red, great um, pairing. The red as accents is just awesome. So it's definitely, I'll put it above red because i think that's where it deserves to be winter holiday is uh i'm gonna go ahead and put it in f tier i think at last time i did d but man it just does not look that good it is a color that has not held up at all honestly same with love struck a lot of these colors like and again i was talking about how Fenrir can show off a lot of the good on these colors but that's the tough part because love struck just really doesn't look that good on anything and uh, this one, the winter holiday, just has too much going on. So Love Struck, I can tolerate it a little bit more because it's pink and red. And, you know, I'm a sucker for red. But that's only enough for it to get into D. Heat Wave, I'm actually going to put right above Love Struck. Just because I think uh, on characters that have more of this, like, really nice blue, like, cyan -y color, it looks super cool. When they initially released it, I thought it was going to be way less of this, like, peach color and much more of the blue. That's a huge miss by them. I think that would have been really, really nice. How they would have incorporated it, I don't know. But uh, again, it's still not gonna make it out of D tier. Haunting actually looks pretty fire on some characters. So I'm not a big fan of it, but I can see why people really like it. And it again, it does have some very good looks, but uh, top of A for the time being is I think a solid spot. A lot of people really like home team. And I think just because you can't really go wrong with it, even though it isn't one of my personal favorites, I'm going to give Home Team S tier because it's actually a color that has been in the game for years now and I think has held up. And like I said, on pretty much every skin, it actually looks good. So that's really, really important. Lucky Clover, uh, I'm going to put it above blue in C tier. You know, this one has its moments. It's not nearly as bad as the other three seasonal ones. Um, so I think C tier is a pretty fair spot to put it. But again, you just have to kind of like actually enjoy green. And uh, I don't I don't think that's very fair. You know what, what we'll do, cause I don't think, I don't think normal green should be above it. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna bump it up and uh, we'll even put it above, we'll put it right like here. I think this is a very fair spot for Lucky Clover. Gala, this color is so good. I always like um, the white like as a base and then adding different sorts of um, like accent colors. Like the purple with the white is very nice. Uh, I don't know what this other color is, but it does look good with it. And um, I think this was a huge success and it's probably going to remain to be one of the best colors in the game, hands down. Verdant Bloom is, again, another pretty weak color. It's hard to place this one because I don't know if it's better than Lucky Clover. Um, personally, I don't think so, because a lot of the times it just really like dilutes what the character's features are. So I'm going to put it like, honestly, I'll put it right underneath it, just because it is a special color. And I know that doesn't immediately make it better than some of the other ones. But putting it in C tier would maybe feel a little wrong. 
Charged OG, another one of those, when it came out, everyone was using it. Um, I still think it's a pretty strong color. Personally, I think it's maybe a little better than uh, the home team. But again, it's kind of a preference thing. I mean, I have red higher than both of them, which that is... If I'm going to have one opinion that is completely subjective, it is red. Okay, so Raven's Honor, there is no icon for this, but what we'll do is we will just put it in S tier. I'll just type it up here. It's so nice. The latest color in Brawlhalla um, and what kind of prompted me to make a new tier list. This color is going to be popular for a super long time. I actually didn't even unlock all of the Raven's, uh, what is this, Raven's Claw or whatever, but it's super strong. Battle Pass 1, Soulfire. At the time, I thought it was pretty cool. Now, it's kind of whatever. I'm going to put it actually right below base uh, because I don't... It's like too much. And honestly, just getting straight into it, I think that's the issue with Synthwave. Synthwave is like too many different colors, but it's like at the same time, all the same. And uh, it's it's objectively better than Verdant Bloom because my issue with Verdant was that it dilutes what the character looks like. This does make them vibrant, and it, I think, is just kind of undeniable that maybe it's a bit better of a color scheme. Still, it is pretty weak, uh, and I would honestly say that it's like top of B tier, probably. Frozen Forest, another huge hit. Um, I like to call this Spearmint. I think it's super strong. Again, maybe a little subjectivity coming in here. I think it's S tier, and I do think it is above home team. Just remember that home team's been around for a really long time, and they've had so many new colors since then. So the fact that it is remaining up here is a testament to it. Code Alliance, it's no secret that this is my absolute favorite color now. I can see my character when they are out of jumps. I find it very easy to track them, which is why I was talking about earlier, if you remember, why I used white. I love red, which, as you can see, put it in S tier, and it has a little bit of black too. And on Fenrir in particular, which is what I really like to use it on, um, I mean, I use it on basically every character, but it's just perfect the way it uh, all meshes together. Like the black metal and then the red eyes and like the white fur, it looks super strong on this skin in particular. Of course, being a Mordex player, that definitely helps, but on any character, it's going to look solid. I think a comfortable spot for Starlit is right next to Frozen Forest. It is cool. It's a, you know, if you're a blue fan, then it definitely is pretty good. Um, I like this like tannish color, like almost like a, a dark kind of like sand, probably a terrible description. Again, I think they've done better with the newer battle passes, but I'm not going to put it any higher. With that being said, though, I felt like they've started to regress maybe a little bit. I don't think this is bad by any means, but I'm not going to act like it's a home run when the last like three really were just so much better so i'll put it in a tier it's kind of right with haunting i don't know which is better honestly it just comes down to preference and then they absolutely melted my eyes with this i mean i it's packed the poison i get they're not always trying to go for the most like aesthetically pleasing so they definitely were just trying something here like i don't even know where to put it it's one of those, it's like a gimmick color almost. I'll leave it in B just because it's kind of different than anything else we have, but it's going to be at the bottom because I do think it is uh, harmful to my eyesight. Skyforged is an absolute classic. Uh, and of course, Skyforged Fenrir is the sandstorm. Skyforged, I'm actually going to put it at the top of A. Um, you just can't go wrong with it on basically any skin. The deep blue looks very nice. For being more expensive, I think Goldforged is actually quite a bit worse. You know, is it worse than these two? I don't think so. So I'm going to put it right, uh, right below Skyforged. CCs, at this point in time, I don't think CCs have held up like at all. I will show them a little love. I'm going to put them in C tier, you know, because this was like, this is the baseline at this point. Are you better than Community Colors? Community Colors was like the first multicolor in the game. And it was so cool at the time. But then as they started adding other stuff, uh, it's just, it got blown out of the water. So I think having it at C is a pretty fair spot. It's average at best. Then they did CCV2. Again, kind of like Pack the Poison. I felt like they just kind of tried something. It's totally unique compared to anything else. It's going to be an A tier. Maybe that's a little high, but it's going to go above Soul Fire and White. Esports V1, interesting color scheme. I, I don't know. The blue slash orange slash black or like very dark gray 
is a super odd pairing to me. I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, I think the other two are way better, so we'll get to them in a sec. But top of B is probably a pretty fair spot. Out of the darker color schemes, V2, Esports V2, is actually really, really strong. And honestly, I think it deserves a pretty high ranking. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have it be uh, up here at the top of S tier. So this color, all right, I bought a bunch of codes, codes for all the legends, okay, for V3. Because I thought this one was so cool. I'm like, you know what? I'm probably going to start using this. I haven't used it. I've just gone back to Code Alliance. But on Fenrir in particular, I really did like it. On other legends, it is kind of bleh. It's not nothing special. I think V2 is undeniably better in just about every aspect, but it is a step up still from um, V1. I think almost in a way, it's like an inversion of V1, but that looks better than V1. So I'm going to go ahead and put it actually second highest in A tier. I don't know if I love it or hate it on V4. Out of any pink looking color, easily the best, hands down. Um, it's better than base pink. I think it being not as bright was a good like design choice. The like golden color with it is also super good. So I'm going to say, you know, maybe this is, I haven't seen on other legends, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in S tier two. This red is objectively way weaker than the normal red. This is the team red. Um, personally, I wish they would just use the normal red, but it is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and put it second to last. Uh, and then team blue. I think team blue is better than the normal blue. Logic would make sense to go ahead and put it like, I honestly think it, it could be up here. So I'm going to put it right next to cyan. And uh, I think it's a pretty fair spot for it. So given there's no icons, if I could place Ravens in V4, I actually think I would put Ravens right below Code of Lions. Um, I would personally, again, don't think I would ever really use it, but still it's such a good color. And I know a lot of people are going to be enjoying it for years to come. V4 though, I would probably put it like maybe below uh, V2 or even lower. And I would put it like right above red. Uh, keep in mind that this is like my personal pick to be up here. So take it with a grain of salt. The rest though, I don't think I'm gonna move anything else. So let me know what you guys think. Um, w or L color tier list. I honestly think it's pretty solid. Um, my opinion hasn't really changed too much. Uh, maybe you can look back and compare though, because I just know winter holiday dude some of these holiday colors were an absolute mess but i hope you enjoyed see you in the next one